What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you the update on Mark R. Bessel's petition. And I will show you that this petition does not order the disclosure of blue sheets, but it orders something else. And I will show you the details. On top of that, I will show you the news uh, in mass media that uh, is helping us uh, to add more people to our community and uh, to attract more attention to the problem of MMTLP and naked shorting in general. On top of that, uh, I will show you some uh, comments uh, from Richard Huffman and uh, Tony Tweets, and uh, I will show you some minor news that also might be useful for the community. And before we dive deeper into all of this news, uh, please share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. On top of that, if, if you have any uh, useful information, any potentially useful information for the community uh, regarding the MMTLP story, please uh, drop me a line in the comment section or use my email in the about section of uh, my YouTube channel. So, and let's start one by one. Uh, 12 hours ago, Mark Arbessel uh, wrote this tweet, NYS Supreme Court petition update. The court issued a correction on the return date, May 30th, 2023, to reflect this year. Guess the DeLorean go, goes back uh, into the garage. So, and uh, it was uh, an error. Let me show you the original uh, petition. Uh, as you can see, the return date was set to May 30th, 2022. And uh, right now uh, we have a correction of the date uh, to uh, 2023. And it is just a technical update. It is nothing uh, more than that. Uh, let me show you quite uh, good news uh, from uh, the broader audience perspective. 10 hours ago on Investor Place uh, this article was written and it says Dear MMAT stock funds, get ready for FINRA to go to court. FINRA is the only entity with blue sheet information relating to the trading of MMTLP and MMAT. And I have to say that uh, it is quite a good uh, article in general because it brings more attention to our problem, but it has uh, some, uh, you know, uh, some not a misleading information, but an additional information that doesn't directly relate to our story. Because right now MMAT is a completely separate legal entity, completely separate to MMTLP and uh, MMTLP becomes the next bridge hydrocarbons. So that's why, in my opinion, we have to uh, read this article with a grain of salt. But nevertheless, let me quote you the bullet points. A shareholder of MMTLP has filed a petition for pre-action disclosure against FINRA. Uh, the shareholder requests uh, blue sheet information related to the trading of MMTLP MMIT and MMTLP in order to take action against spoofing, naked short selling, market manipulation and fraud. And uh, yes, it might be quite uh, uh, relevant information, but I have some add-ons from uh, Richard Hoffman and I will show you them in a minute. Uh, the last uh, bullet uh, is MMIT stock is down by more than 80% year to date. And this is completely, completely irrelevant information because MMAT, Metamaterials, is a completely different uh, legal entity. And right now, the only thing that uh, connect uh, one company to another is the previous spin-off. The spin-off of Nextbridge Hydrocarbons via MMTLP shares. But nevertheless, uh, it is quite good article that describes uh, some uh, relevant information. And I want to pay attention on this uh, last paragraph. The information petitioner of six is readily available to respondent and would impose essentially no burden on respondent. Indeed, respondent only needs to check its records for the blue sheets on MMIT and MMTLP and turn the relevant information over to petitioner's legal consay, uh, reads the court document. And uh, I have to say that uh, I have uh, some add-ons because yesterday I showed you this uh, tweet uh, made by jgrok149 and he wrote Hello, my dear Rosa Tavel. Can this uh, court order help you uh, your case in any way? And Rosa answered, no, it can't, unfortunately. New York Supreme Court is a misnomer. It actually means uh, the trial court is in state court, a lower court uh, than the federal court where I've filed. And uh, 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 Richard Hoffman, 12 hours ago, added uh, 
even more information to this uh, tweet and he wrote to be clear the order in uh, new york state court is not authority that would be considered in a california federal court and uh, california federal court is the court uh, where richard hoffman filed his lawsuit and uh, let me remind you that rosa tyrell filed her lawsuit uh, in the court of florida and uh, he added however information that is made public through any matter can be used anywhere subject to some traditional issues for example publicly disclosed information regarded blue sheets of mhlp and in this case if this information will be publicly disclosed definitely rosa and uh, richard will be able to use it uh, in their cases but uh, richard hoffman filed his own uh, petition and it is not the petition it is uh, uh, it was made uh, as an add-on to his lawsuit that's why the procedure uh, to receive uh, these blue sheets uh, is uh, more complicated and more lengthy in time. And Richard Hoffman uh, uh, wrote in his uh, Twitter account, uh, let me show it to you, that uh, the deadline for uh, his uh, result uh, we will be at uh, my 22nd, I guess somewhere here he uh, uh, wrote about it. So I cannot find this information right now, but uh, I guess it was uh, uh, May 22nd. And we have to wait it, but uh, let me show you another uh, information that uh, is very important to the community. On my previous video, Richard Hoffman made a comment and he also added about the possibility to use uh, uh, the information from the blue sheets in his uh, lawsuit and in Rosa's lawsuit as well. He said, to clarify, the order in New York will not uh, bind a federal court in Florida, but if the information is disclosed publicly, it can be used. Also, to clarify, Mark's order does not order the release of the blue sheets, but instead properly sets a hearing to show cause why the information should not be released. And uh, it is a very important update, because uh, if Mark's petition orders just a releasing of blue sheets, uh, definitely we might uh, receive an answer from FINRA that no, they will not disclose this information for some uh, internal reasons. But if the petition sets a hearing to show calls why the information should not be released, this means it is one step forward, in my opinion, as far as I understand, it is one step forward. Because in this case, uh, FINRA should uh, make an answer why they don't want uh, to disclose the information and they shouldn't disclose it. And if uh, it is the case, if uh, they uh, will uh, give this information to the court, judge will decide whether or not uh, this is... Uh, a sufficient uh, data is it enough uh, to deny the petition and otherwise if they will not provide uh, this answer why they shouldn't uh, give this information in this case they should release the blue sheets so with this document we are one step forward to see the information from the blue sheets and in my opinion it is a very clever and that is why i still stand on my position that uh, our heroes Richard Hoffman, Rosa Tarrell, Mark Arbesel are very, very clever persons and uh, they know what uh, they are talking about. So, let me show you further information. Uh, let me show you uh, the reply on uh, Gary Gensler Twitter that was made by Richard Hoffman just one hour ago. And in my opinion, it is a very good uh, statement as well. Gary Gensler wrote, Did you know that over 99% of US businesses are small businesses? Anytime I meet a small business owner, I think of my dad. He used uh, his uh, mastering out uh, pay from World War II to buy used vending machines, fix them up and build our family business. A threat. And uh, Richard Hoffman replied, He must uh, therefore be ashamed uh, that uh, you have completely disregarded uh, the interests of retail investors uh, for your coronies. So, definitely Gary Gensler will, will not answer on this tweet, uh, but uh, this statement is uh, brilliant because uh, it shows uh, how disrespectful Gary Gensler to the community and to his own dad because of uh, this statement. So, I have to say that uh, it is uh, pretty much all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and drop me a line if you have any useful information for the community. In this case, uh, we will be able to unite and uh, win this battle no matter what. So, see you guys and girls next time. Bye!
I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star.